So because of poor power out, outrage and um, the generator said it was also too bad, we discovered that the water was too bad and the uh, fish were already uh, infected. So the first thing we did was to make sure that we threw away the water that was when the um, set was on and we have to wash the pond thoroughly, okay, to make sure that uh, all the blue algae is being removed. But one thing is for sure that uh, we must make sure we treat this thing right. If not, it's going to affect the whole fish and there was going to be a problem. So this is um, salt and this is water. You can come and show them the water. Don't close. So this is just water. So the fish that you saw that I just posted, the this morning they, they were just hanging on top of the water. And um, from my experience in um, catfish, I know that it's a problem. So we have to remove the water. I, I saw that one, the water was uh, already dirty. And um, apart from being dirty, I also saw that there is a lot of blue algae. These blue algae, the fish eat them, but they are mostly um, they are mostly effective in the eating pond. But at concrete pond, it normally causes problems for them. It turns the water greenish and it makes it very uncomfortable. The problem with that, uh, the fish hanging their head is that. If you don't notice it in time, you can lose a whole lot of them before it's corrected. So this is just ordinary salt, and um, we are going to try to ionize the, the water. So I'm opening up the salt. So I'm opening up the salt now. So I'm going to use half of this. The, the quantity in that pond is about 900. So I'm going to use half of this. So half of it. Okay, this is already half of it. So now, um, half of it will be used, and you will see how I apply it. Okay. Let's go there and see. So you have to bring it, you bring the water, then you pour it one side. The reason why I'm pouring it like this is that I want the salt to be in one side so that they can come and lick the salt. So when you look now, you see that they are coming around and they will be leaking the soil even though they will be avoiding it. That will help them in order to regain uh, strength and it also we have to treat it. Look at the video. If you look closely inside the water there, you see that the fishes come and they will leak the soil in that one place. So you can also scatter the salt around, but I use this method so as to be sure whether the fishes are feeding on it and it also helped me to see whether it is going to be effective or whether I need to put it in another side if they are really avoiding it. So this is just one day later and uh, uh, look at how the fishes are now okay. They are now flying about. They, were, they are no longer hanging. And it was just a beautiful sight to behold. But not just salt. There is something else we needed to do to make sure that the fish is well treated mm. so um yesterday i i showed you um some of the sea fish and uh, how they were so dull you know the uh, the thing is that once you don't see them earlier you start losing them so yesterday i showed you what we did it was very simple we bought a 17 era salt and we divided it half we had about 900 stuff there so we did what we call the salt treatment and as you can see from the video before this you saw how they are day two that's their day two picture uh, video how they are now very active so today we repeated the salt treatment today we repeated the salt treatment today but tomorrow tomorrow we are going to start them with this so what is actually contained here is uh, oz tetracycline then we have the vitamin premise, that is all the vitamins, all the uh, vitamin K, vitamin B, folic acid, and all that. We also have isotopic acid here, and we also have lysine and methionine. So what this is going to help them do is that it's going to help them, the LC tetracycline is for 
um, if there is any viral infection that they have, if there is any this thing. So we are going to do this for just two days. It's not that um, they are the salt is like a first aid. Okay, it's like a first aid. You get them active, and then you treat the cause. It's not enough using just salt. You also need to treat the cause so that it do not become a problem. So when I'm doing this tomorrow, I'm going to um, make a video about that. Thank you.